All right, now let's test how it leaves this parking lot because this has been the ultimate test here. Now it knows to automatically slow down even though there's no stop sign. Version 11 would just try to go in this situation. And I love how it's hovering right now and not just going and I've got nothing in the nav and it decided to make a left, which I'm not mad at. And it should go now. Oh, but it had the left turn signal on, but decided to go straight then, which it, it did it at, you know, great time. Very interesting. All right, we're gonna test it out, see how it gets onto Route 7 now. Oh well, it's almost cutting over a little early. Really nice job. Normally that car in front would throw it off and it would be hesitant with that car making a left, but overall did a just great job. Um, and it's going to take me down the stop sign to get onto 7 that way, which is really what I want to see it do. Um, I want to see how it merges onto Route 7, which will be interesting. Feels very, very smooth. All right, let's see if we got someone crossing here. Picks them up magically. Really well done there. All right, it's trying to get into the right lane a little early here. This is still considered a bike lane, so it shouldn't actually be in this part of the lane yet, but it decided to. like the Tesla next to me was not using full self-driving. saw that they had their hands on the wheel. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Really good job about making that right. And this is the ultimate test now. How does it do getting on to Route 7? I know some people that stop at this part over here and have issues merging. So let's see how FSD, no stop. And it continued. It continued without stopping. No accelerator presses, nothing. Oh my God, I can't believe it just did that. Oh my gosh. I know people who can't do that and it just did that. Literally, people just wait at that until the light turns green and we have our own lane so you're not supposed to wait. And FSD just executed that so nicely. Wow, I am, I am stunned. That was, that was incredible. That, that was incredible. For it to be able to do that, that was, wow. Wow, wow. Okay, I, I, I got goosebumps. I didn't even touch the accelerator there. It did everything by itself. Unbelievable. This, this, is, this is incredible. Shout out to the Tesla Autopilot team. I mean, you guys are really, hats off to you all for such a big improvement from the last version. This is amazing, and there wasn't anything extra. Once you purchase FSD, you get all the updates as they come along. So, wow, really cool to see it merge onto the highway over here. Um, just like how this car made a right, had its own lane. It didn't hesitate, it went. Cars were coming, it merged over perfectly. Just phenomenal job there. Oh my gosh, and I'm getting hit with a random auto steer aborted for system error out of nowhere. Huh. Interesting. Why did that go away? I don't know. That is really odd. Huh. So, just like that, FSD stopped working. Why? I don't know. And the icon isn't even popping up. There we go. Now it's back. And uh, continuing the drive as normal. 
getting greeted with the red hand, so I'm going to disengage and re-engage real quick so I don't get any strikes. Alright, here we go with the right turn. No hesitation. Wow, really nice job to stay into this right lane. And again, with the random auto steer aborted for system error twice now. What is going on? Man, I just got this update yesterday and I already got two random system error abort messages, which is super weird. Um, not sure why I did that. All right, let's see what happens now, if it's gonna come back online or what. You can see the visualization has gone completely light uh, compared to the normal dark outline that it provides. And as soon as it goes back to that, if it goes back to that, then full self-driving will be available again. But why did it kick off twice in this video already? And I just got this update where there's no variables that is throwing it off currently. I don't know why it's not like the camera's blocked or anything like that. All right, here we go. It finally just came back. And um, we're gonna test it out here on this left turn coming up here. Um, which is a really sharp left turn and it's a really narrow neighborhood so we're gonna test out to see how it does um, because version 11 would uh, kind of hang out more in the middle a little bit more hopefully autopilot doesn't kick out on me again like it just did twice okay great job with this left turn it took it kind of wide before. Oh, accidentally grabbed the steering wheel a little hard there. Um, disengaged, my fault, re-engaged right away. All right, so this is the road I was talking about where it tends to hang out in the middle of the road a lot more than pushing to the right because it is a narrow road with cars parked on both sides. Um, but I like how it's scooted to the right now a little bit, which it should be naturally, especially if a car just comes out of nowhere and is oncoming. Good job about uh, keeping in mind this car with the doors open, visualization show. Wow, it stopped for the cat. It stopped for the random cat. I'm, yes, random cat ran across and it stopped. I'm so happy to see that it stopped. I literally would have taken over if it didn't stop and nice that was awesome i'm so glad it slowed down the way it's stopping at the stop sign too it normally would stick itself out like all the way over there in the middle and try to make this turn and now it's making this turn a lot more decisively wow i'm i'm stunned i um i got a lot more videos for you guys on the way make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video um subscribe to the channel for more Thanks again for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day.